President Sassoli, President Michel, Vice President Zevkovic, dear colleagues, let me start with a brief remark towards, uh, in regard to the Commission. Tomorrow, after a successful hearing in the committees, we will vote on two new, one new Commissioner and one Commissioner who changed the portfolio. I remind us on this because it's an historic moment. The first time we can, we have the chance to achieve a really gender-balanced Commission. And I think that is a good thing. I promised this in the campaign. A lot of other politicians promised this in the, during the campaign. We make it now, and that is good for Europe. We do today the assessment of the Council of last week. Um, again, the glass is half full and half empty. That's the principle of the Council. Half full, we have concrete sanctions against uh, those who are responsible for violence and torture in Belarus. That's good. But on the other hand, where is Lukashenko? Lukashenko is not on the list. And that's why, Mr. President, please explain us why the brain of the whole uh, system is not on the list. And the second to Greece and Cyprus and Turkey. Greek and Cypriot's interests are European interests. There is no doubt about this. And we have strong words and also a clear strategy. But again, half empty. I think we cannot explain to citizens all over Europe that uh, we still negotiate with Turkey about the enlargement, the full membership of Turkey towards the European Union. So again and again, small steps, right direction, but no clear signal. Good compromise, but no leadership. That's again the outcome of the Council. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, the greatest concern that I have at the moment is uh, the economy and the, the substance of the economy. 15 million people out of work. 50, Spain, 50 40% uh, of young people have no jobs. France, 15,000 lost at uh, Air France and thousands at Air France. 80,000 uh, jobs will be lost in Germany in big groups. Mercedes, 3,000, uh, thousands at Volkswagen. And in Italy, uh, there are uh, 290,000 people with it lost their jobs in six months. A uh, study shows that every fifth job in this continent will be affected. Colleagues, at the moment we don't have any answers to these tasks. People are afraid about their standard of living, about their future, about their social standards. We have no answers to this at the moment. But I'd like to point out, I don't think uh, that this is just a, a short-term development we have. If you look at the figures in China, unfortunately, you must realize that uh, in China, there were just a few months where the, the economy went down, and they're growing. Uh, for next year, uh, they're looking forward to uh, plus 8 percent in their economy. The economic power in this world is being redistributed. You can uh, compare this with the post-war situation, where the uh, 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 positions changed. Uh, China is the winner at the moment. Europe is the loser. That's the reality. So jobs must be the focus of our political debate on the recovery fund. Vice President Sefcovic mentioned this. This must be a priority for the future agenda. In the eternal market, we knew uh, re reform are the basis of our welfare, and we, d we don't need e egoism, egoism. We need common rules in Europe, and we need proposals from the Commission, not just statements from the Commission. Thirdly, we must uh, deal with bureaucracy. Six, 60, 70 years with more and more reg regulations that leads to uh, these additional burdens on companies, not freedom. We must look at that. Fourthly, we must look at exports. Our welfare is based on exports to other countries. I'm concerned when I look at the discussion with uh, Mercosur. Europe must have the strength to conduct trade agreements in future, otherwise we won't be able to maintain our welfare. Innovation, financing innovation, that's important, a, re a reform agenda at the national level. Vice President uh, Sekovic mentioned this. Uh, we must end the nonsense of uh, a hard Brexit. We must try to find a s s sensible compromise with our British friends. We hope in the e EPP that, that the, um, the uh, focus is on the economic situation. That's the basis for our uh, societal model. That's why we need jobs, jobs and jobs. Thank you very much. Thank you.